Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome back to Postman Beginners Tutorial. This is lesson 3 on Postman Tool Concepts. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how can we create and manage collections within Postman and what are all the advantages and what are all the different features that are available in Postman for the collections. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you what is collection, how to create collections in Postman and how to create folders inside the collections and how can you arrange requests inside the collections. First of all, what is collection? The collection is a group of API requests stored and saved in logical arrangement. Okay, so that means let's assume you have a big project and you have you have to execute around hundred of hundreds of the API requests as part of that project validation and you can logically divide these hundred API requests by using collections and also there are a lot of advantages of the collections which I'm going to show you once I jump onto the system. So now let's jump onto the system and see how can we create collections and how can we manage collections in executing the API requests and also in automating the API requests. Okay, so this is my Postman. So I already introduced you, introduced you to the Postman in, um, in my previous uh, two sessions. So here, first let's create a collection. So there are two ways. Either you can go to file and click on new or you can directly click on create new collection plus symbol okay let's go to file and create new and here you need to select collection save your request in a collection for reuse and sharing okay click on collection as soon as you click on collection a new tab called new collection will be opened and here you need to name this collection so let me name this as collection Okay, I'll do one thing, YouTube collection 2, okay, this is the name of my collection and then if you see, see, advantage of the collection is you can set your authorization for the entire collection itself. That means if you are using a common authorization for multiple API requests which are logically divided and you would like to store them in this particular collection. If those multiple API operations are logically interrelated and they are using the same authorization and then you need to provide authorization once at the collection level so that you need not to provide this authorization for every API request that you are going to add into this particular collection. Okay. Okay, so now what about prerequisite script? If you see the prerequisite pre -request script, that means, so here you can write down your automation script that you would like to perform before this collection is being executed. So I'm going to tell you how to create these uh, Java scripting for the prerequisite script in the upcoming video sessions okay so that means before you execute this collection or before you execute all the api requests that you have saved in this collection you can do some pre requisite basically pre request script that you would like to run okay and also if you have any common tests that you would like to automate you can provide those common tests at collection level itself and also if the entire APIs 
that are collected in this collection are using the same variables then you can define the variables here okay so i'm going to explain how can we use the variables tests and pre request scripts and authorizations at the collection level in future videos okay so for now i don't want to provide any scripting or any authorization here okay and then uh, i think yeah so once you create your collection okay let me close this okay let me close all the tabs so if you see this collection i just now we created youtube collection 2 and if you click on this view more actions you can share this collection with anyone and also you can move this collection between the workspaces okay between the workspaces that we created so how to create workspace i've already explained you in my previous session okay and you can run the collection when you click on run collection it's going to open a runner window okay where you can select all the api requests that you would like to run that means let's say in this collection if you have if you have 10 api requests you can select those 10 api requests to run okay by using runner and you can edit this collection so when you click on edit it will give you an option to edit your collection and also there are lot of other options you can add folders or you can monitor collection so monitor collection means you want to create a monitor collection where you can run this entire collection at a periodic level okay week timer every day or every monday every tuesday so basically you can create a monitor so that you can monitor your api requests and their performance okay that is creation of the monitor and also you can basically view the documentation you can rename you can duplicate this and then you can export this collection and you can manage the roles and also you can delete the collection okay so let me explain you how to arrange your api request okay let's assume i want to add api request multiple api request in this collection let's say add request okay get rec one and then provide some url here and save it okay and also create let's let's add another another request how to add api request click on more options add request get rec two and then just put some url here i'm not putting the actual url i'm just saving it okay this is your get request one get request two and now let's create another request add request and name this as post request one okay and the url here and save it so now i want to arrange all these requests these are all actually logically interrelated requests that's why i'm collecting them in one collection and now i want to arrange these collections okay so first of all i want to create a new folder here add folder and then get requests folder name as get requests and also you can manage your authorization at folder level also just now i told you at collection level but at folder level also you can manage different authorization pre request script and also your tests common tests that are that you would like to perform under i mean that you would like to perform for all the apis that are stored in this particular folder okay so once that is done so i have folder, uh, created a folder and i want i would like to create another folder add folder post requests okay this is another folder so I've created both the folders. Now I want to arrange these API requests. See if you see those folders and the API requests are exist under the same collection that we created now. Now I want to drag and drop all get requests under get request folders. 
I want to drag and drop post request under post request folder. So this way you can arrange uh, your API requests at folder level within the collections, right? And uh, there are a lot of other activities that you can perform by using collections. Basically, there are advanced options that you can use in automating your API requests by using collections. So which I'm going to collect, uh, which I'm going to cover in the further lessons. Okay. So if you have any queries, uh, you can provide your queries in the comment box. I will try to reply to your queries. Please do subscribe to the channel. Click on bell icon. You will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you.